Okay, hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And just there, I was going, like, recording, because I'm going recording a lot today. And just there, I, like, came, they said I'd come to Tingle Island, because I was definite that I hadn't gotten that, um, that Octo. And look, over there, look, there are the seagulls. So I'm going to head straight on over there right now. Because it was so pissing me off that I'd spent, like, that whole video, because I just knew, I knew that I hadn't caught that Octo before. I just, I knew it because, like, I didn't remember it. And I even looked up in my videos, I looked up Rock, Paper, Mario, Octo, and I couldn't find, um... I couldn't find any videos that had me fighting an Octo at Tingle Island. So yeah, we're actually going to go find it, and I think this Octo gives you a piece of heart, which, how many pieces of hearts will that be? Two. Um, or no, three, if we get to, I think it gives you a piece of heart anyway. Um, I'm going to apologize right now because in the next few videos there might be abrupt cuts because I've decided to sit down today and record the next temple because the last four, like f six or seven videos have just been side quest stuff and I think it's about time we did some um, temple-y stuff again. Oh, this is another hard one. Let's just hope we can smack his gladstone. One, smack my gladstone, smack my gladstone. Maybe like that'll be my like octo theme. But yeah, I just felt that like the last like seven videos have been all like side quest stuff. So I think it's about time we went progressed with the story. And I really can't believe that I'm already onto this part of the game. I don't know. Um, I I honestly I this part of the game seems so far away when you're um when you start the game. And now, it's like I'm already here. It's like, how crazy is that? I mean, I can't even remember when I started this LP. It was probably, like, September or something. Yeah, I think it was September. Because I think I started Luigi's Mansion in August. Oh, we're getting lucky here. You see, sometimes you can get lucky, and it can, like, hit more eyes than you mean it to hit. Like, there, like, one, a couple of times at the start there, it, like, um... Hit him, like, a million times. Come on, one eye left. There we go. One bullet left. Laughing, boy. Ha ha, we gotcha. Like, there, just like that time when I, like, massacred Kale Demos, the plant in the Forbidden Woods, when I, like, you know, when it hit, like, almost all all of the vines at once, it just hit, like, almost all of the eyes, even though I was only aiming at five, technically. So let's just wait for a boomerang to come back. Because my boomerang won't come back. Um, get out our grappling hook. So yeah, I'll apologise, I've decided just to record this block without kind of intros and outros and whatever just because that's the way I usually do the temples and I've decided to do the next temple. Well, I think I might anyway. Let's try here. This seems like a good spot. Watch now, it won't be. No. You know if it like takes too long. Come on. Oh, for God's sake, King. Do I have- does Wayne Brady have to choke a bitch? Okay, there it is. Hey. Stay on target! They're too close! Stay on target! Let's try that. Oh, well- <laughs> That was lucky. I think this is a piece of heart. Yay! You've collected three so far. Collect one more to increase your life energy. Well, you know what? Maybe we will. Wait a second. Let me have a look at this map. What map? What place is this? That's the five star isles. Which one is the angular isles? It's one of these down here. Because there's a piece of heart you can get there as well. Um. Or will I? No, I won't bother. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not going to bother. I'm going on to the next part of the game. Um. So yeah, now now that we have the reason we went to get the fi fire and ice arrows is that they're imperative for the next part of the plot. Because basically, if you go to those locations, the King of Red Lions marked on our map, um, you'll find that on on the one that on the one to the south, um, there's an enormous rock blocking your place that can't be destroyed by the hammer. It can't be destroyed by bombs. So you need to basically um, go and get an item to help help sort that out. If you go to the one to the north, then um, if you go to the one to the north, then you'll find that it's really windy there and you can't get to the door of the temple. And there's nothing you can do about that. 
um, so you need to get an item to sort that out as well. Now, what what these items are and where they get them, it, where you get them, and actually what you're supposed to do next part in the game, they don't actually tell you. The only way you're supposed to find out, as far as I can tell, is if you um, listen to the map fish and ask them what to do. Um, so that can be like, this can be like a really annoying time in the game for someone who doesn't think to use the map fish, or who just kind of doesn't listen to what they say, you know that kind of way. So um, I don't know, it's it's one of those parts in a game where you just kind of either know what to do, or else you spend so like loads of time just wandering around without a clue what to do. I've just got to keep my ears out. I can't turn down. I wish I could turn it down a bit further, but I can't um, because they're coming delivering oil to our house today um, and I have to keep my ear out because I have to pay the man so yeah if you come to here this burning like mountain that we came to earlier now that you have ice arrows and this doesn't make any sense but who gives a damn you can like freeze the fire just like the fairy said freeze the hottest flames and melt the coldest of ice so yeah and now you basically have five minutes to save the world you have to get up onto um, get up to the top of the mountain and get what you need because of the item. That boomerang is brilliant. I just, I can, words cannot express how much I love the boomerang. It is just, oh, wait, I'm going getting that. Another thing that, this boomerang, it was just like, if I could do things like that, if I had a boomerang in real life and I could just do it like, like have such wicked boomerang skills as that in real life, like imagine what a world that would be. I could conquer the world. I mean, that would be amazing. But no, I guess it will have to, that, that low, that, that dream will have to be confined to, to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, seeing as that's the game with the best boomerang. Well, I love the boomerang in the DS games as well. I love the way you can, like, draw where it goes. I think it's really fun. And I love the puzzles that they have in Phantom Hourglass and, um, in Spirit Tracks. In Spirit Tracks, that dungeon, the fire and ice dungeon, I loved that dungeon, the one where you fight Fraz, the hot icy fire guy or whatever he's called. I think that's the one where you actually get the boomerang, but it is one of the most fun dungeons I have ever played in a Zelda game. Once again, the boomerang comes to our aid. This thing, it's just like, it couldn't be better. It is just the best item in the game. And there's so many good items in this game, but like, the boomerang has got to be the best. I just love it. It completely and utterly breaks the game. Yeah, you can kill these guys in one hit if you do a parry attack on them. Come on, I don't have got all day. See, I got impatient. There we go. Master sword. Du -du 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 -du. And we get a chest. A spiky chest, like Madonna's chest. But yeah, the, one of these like big rock heads like Gubario's rock hard head will be at that island to the south if you go there. Um, so you need to get this item. You've got the power bracelets. Both arms are now stronger than ever. Press A to grab and lift objects. Um, and our exit appears. Does the oh, the timer stops. That's kind of fun. But now automatically, look, you can see them on his arms. Look, see? Um, you have like the power bracelets, mm -hmm. which means you, you can lift these things, and it looks, looks so funny. Like, look at him. He's like something of um, I don't know, Looney Tunes or something like that. <laughs> Let's just kill these guys just because I can. Come on, you're not gonna escape me and my boomerang. It's just the most accurate thing ever. I mean, it has to be one of my favorite items in any Zelda game. My favorite, like, most imag imaginative item that has ever been in a Zelda game, in my opinion, is, um... Has anyone ever played Oracle of Seasons? When in, well, in Oracle of Seasons, there's, um... There's this item that you can get called the Magnetic Gloves. And you actually have to change them between North and South Polarity to, like, push some things and pull other things. And it's just the most fun item in the game. It really is. I just I love to get, I love the items they push in um they tend to be so much more imaginative in the handheld Zelda games with the items you get especially in those Oracle games I don't know they're just so fun I had Oracle of Seasons I've never played Oracle of Ages but H C Bailey just finished his Oracle of Ages LP but I finished Oracle of Seasons and it is one of my favorite games ever so now that we have the power bracelets 
um, we can go and we can um, actually I think there's something we can do on Outset Island now that we have the power bracelet yeah there is okay well we might if since we're going to Outset Island anyway so to, we can sail to the next island we might as well do that I suppose we're making pretty good time actually which is something like we've already gotten a piece of heart we've gotten the power bracelet and now hopefully we're going to get another piece of heart which would be kind of fun yeah, look, as I said, like, you approach this island from the south, like, the front of the island is to the south, which is really strange. Um, I don't know, I just think it's really weird. It always weirded me out for no reason in particular. Yeah, I think we can do this now, that we have the power bracelet. God, it's been a long time since we were here. Let's just go walk around. Yeah, I'm not going doing that sword master thing. That's one of those ones. Well, I am going doing it eventually. But I, oh, I can show you this. This is quite fun. If you have the hero's bow, you can like break the pot off her head. And then if you talk to her, she'll say, That's just terrible. Me's a, me's a precious jar. How could you, sir? Oh, Jar Jar Binks again. That's just awful. That's a just awful. Misa just be carrying Misa jar, and you should be shooting Jesus to the jar. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. So like, look. If you see the pig, well, I think like it's uh, this always reminded me of like Joe when you like have goldfish and like if you have like a couple of goldfish and one eats the rest of them, so you end up with just one big fish. That's what it reminds me of because it's like oh the pig ate the other pig, so now you just have one big pig. You can be a big pig too. Oh Harry, you made it back. Yes, I did snake. How, how did I remember that I did Snake's voice for him? Hey, Harry, do you remember the day you first caught this oinker and brought him over here? Just look at that thing. Isn't he a lot bigger than you last saw him? And not just bigger, he's a lot heavier, too. Hey, Harry, is there any way you could pick him up and take him for a walk for me? I'd really appreciate it. My back is just killing me. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, let's go in and see what your wife has to say about that. So yeah, now, as you could probably guess, you need the power bracelets to pick up that big pig. Pick up Pumba. You know, you can be, they call him Mr. Pig. Let's talk to Rosa. That's her name, by the way. See, I know all their names because every character in this game has a name. And you, if you do all the figurines and you find out what their names are. I'm so glad you're safe, Harry. We've all been so worried. Ever so worried. And the boys have been longing to see you again. Oh, I do declare. What's Snotface got to say? Yay, Harry. It's Harry. So, so, so. You, you, did you save Aral? Hey, shush now. I'm sorry, Harry. Don't you pay any mind to him. Don't pay any attention to him. Yeah, I won't. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, did you not notice how large a pig you gave us has grown? It's a king among pigs. Why, sure. Yes, it sure is. I thought she said something about, like, where the other ones went. Harry, lots and lots of things have happened here since you left. First of all, my little brother doesn't wet to bed anymore, so that's good, I guess. And my mom got kind of chubby again. Hey, you shush now! I'll smack you upside your head! She's like loud and a minge. Un um, um, um. Oh, yeah, and when you feed old Harry bait, he gets really... What? The pig's name is me? <laughs> and digs holes in the hard patches of black dirt. He always finds treasure in them. Yes, we named the pig you caught for us after you. I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is with you in the world. He's talking about our pig, not you. Yeah, you better be, bitch. What did- Oh, wait, no, I forgot. Oh, maybe I should have read that. Let's see what he says. Please say it again. Um, see, Harry. Harry, shouldn't you go back to your house? I mean, isn't Grandma waiting for you? It was delicious. Shush now! What am I to do about these boys? Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. It was delicious. Oh, yeah, they ate the other pigs. <laughs> I think that's really funny. She's like loud in a minge. Maybe what you should do with your boys is you should smack them upside their head. <laughs> Don't get Aloysius minge to do it though. Well, I can talk freely about that seeing as um and that seeing as um special infinitives done that part. Yeah, so we that's just unceremoniously thrown. I wonder if you, yeah, let's just make this faster and throw him off the cliff. <laughs> that has to be one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So yeah, that has to be one of the funniest parts in Earthbound though, when, uh, when like, Aloysius and Lardin are beaten up on their kids. <laughs> it's so hilarious. <laughs> oh man. What's up with all my women voices being like Southern Bells all of a sudden? Maybe I've been watching um, Special Infinitive too much, if one can do such a thing. 
Oh, shush now. Shush now, are you here? Yeah, so basically what you have to do, I know where I'm going, but there are like other dirt patches that you can get other things from. But there's one dirt patch over here that you can get a piece of heart from, so I'll show you which one it is. 